Wow, it's been three years since I uploaded a video on this channel. Like, wow. Well, uh, let me serve up an explanation. Okay, I think the last video I uploaded was in, I think it was in August 2014. Yeah, wow, it's been three years. And I barely, you know, since that time, I barely signed into this channel. I've been on my main channel a whole lot. Because, uh, you know, that that was, that is, that is my first baby. You know, and, you know, it, it's, it's going headstrong still to this very day. Despite all the crap that I've gone through for the past three years. Um... Which brings me to that topic. Well, a anyways, um, for the past three years, I've gone through, you know, just a lot of crap in my life. You know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to my best not to drop the four letter bombs. If you if you catch my drift, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, um, actually, yeah. Well, the past two years has been pretty rough for me. You know. Uh, <clears throat> uh, since that time, you know, um, I got a severance pay from the place where I spent most of my working career at, and I let that dwindle away, you know, just using it up for like living expenses when I could have used something that for something more important, you know, and to this very day, I, I totally regret it, and... I still wish I had that amount of money left over. I could, or if I would have gotten a job right away, I would have still had some of that money stashed away in case of an emergency. And um, currently, I don't really have anything right now. Uh, you know, like for the past two years, I've gone through a series of, of, of low-paying jobs. You know, and, um, well, my last, um, place of, of, you know, organized employment, I, I quit that place like, uh, in like early July this year, you know, cause it was, uh, it, you know, it didn't just didn't pay adequately and quite enough for me cause, you know, I'm living on my own. It was during that time, like from October last year to July, I I had to start up and, you know, deliver newspapers again, just like I did years ago, you know, with the sign of province in National Post around Mission, B.C., and yeah, and, you know, a month ago, I, I got promoted to, to drop manager, and I... Uh, you know, it you know it, it was overwhelming at first because, uh, you know, it's, it was the first time in my working career, like like twenty four years twenty four years, that I, I took on a you know a, a role like this. You know, being a boss. You know, like uh, like you know if if that if that happened, you know, if it was twenty years ago, that would have never happened to me because, you know, I was I was one of those kids growing up that had learning disabilities. And uh, that lasted until maybe uh, up until you know my early twenties, you know. And um, you know, the, it's it's apparent that you know some of those traits are are, <laughs> are still evident in in myself, you know. And I I still I still feel you know you know challenged in some departments. But I'm keeping it together. Yeah, it was like it was like like two years ago. I I fallen off the wagon. You know, like uh, it was it was really depressing too. You know, you you, you you know you're just trying to make ends meet you know, financially, and you can't really afford the the foods that you you know. They're super healthy and stuff like that. And I let my weight creep creep up close to three hundred pounds. 
like from uh, like a mid, yeah, I think it was mid 2016 that happened. And you know, my my stomach was had stretch marks appearing on it. And, you know, that was really horrifying for me to see. Like, like, you know, I just can't believe I just let myself go like that, you know, and, and then, um, I don't know, this was, this was just like, um, well, th maybe three weeks ago, I had a, I had a, a real kick-ass, you know, emotional breakdown, and, you know, it, it all had to do with, um, the condition, uh, the current condition of my mom, who I think she, you know, she's suffering from dementia, and then my my baby sister and her and my brother in law moved out to Nova Scotia, and that was like half a year ago, and you know I I really miss her because you know she really was my rock and you know in a socializing sense you know and. And, you know, I like pretty much my, you know, my main source of social pipelining was cut off, you know, like, a, and all I had left was, you know, my, my mom and dad, you know, it's, it, you know, I found it kind of depressing going over there for the past little while because, you know, all my parents wanted to do, you know, is drink their faces off and... Well, my mom, you know, like I, she, she can't really drink anymore. Like, like I don't know, I don't know why my my mom's still drinking right now. You know, like in her condition, she shouldn't be drinking like a whole lot, or not at, actually not at all. You know, because there there were some times, you know, when I was just absolutely horrified over the, you know, the irrational behavior coming from her. You know, it was it was it was terrifying. You know, uh, like uh, I, I was drinking heavily myself at that at that time. You know, and and recently I decided, to, you know, just to give up the hard shit, the hard stuff. You know, the you know I I can't I can't drink that stuff anymore. <clears throat> you know, it, it just you know it, it it's poison to me now. I can't, you know, like. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while since I, I reached a 26er of Canadian whiskey, <laughs> which I had a passion for, you know, all these years. And, you know, I decided to go cold turkey on that, you know, and. <clears throat> you know, it's been it's been great. And, you know, and. OK, we'll get back to three weeks ago. You know, I had an emotional breakdown. You know, I was I was really depressed. You know, I haven't I haven't had any womanly comfort for like, uh, you know, over six years. You know, and it was you know it was really getting to me. And you know, the last woman I I hit on, you know, she she shot me down with her wedding band, <laughs> you know? and so that that kind of well, it got me down. You know, because I was really fond of this individual, but you know, I, heck, that's life, eh? <sighs> I came to a point where I was just bawling like crazy, you know, I, I was, I was doing what I was doing for work, you know, and, you know, I decided to go on my cell phone on the Facebook and I, I see this, um, article, you know, you know, that, um, that incident where a lot of people were shot up in Las Vegas at, you know, some country music festival. And I, I just started I started sobbing like crazy because I, you know, that, that that really set things off. And it was right around that time, I decided I I needed to to seek a, you know, a therapist and see what that that what can be done about that, you know. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, I went in for one session. The therapist, I'm. She seemed to be a you know a real nurturing person, you know, very highly esteemed individual from what I've learned about her, 
you know, I'd like to, she's, she's been in that racket for, for many years, you know, and I'd like to meet her again someday, not dropping any names. <laughs> you know, it, it was around the, around the time, you know, I decided, you know, just to get, just to get, just to get back in the wagon. And you know, and, and be more be more steadfast on on the mission that I, that I in, intended for this channel to be right, and and um, just for the record, I decided to give up the stuff that was causing me aggravation, cold turkey. You know, rather be it you know meat products, dairy products, you know. I decided to give those up, you know, like, uh, I even gave up, I even gave up potato chips, which I did love in the past so much, you, you know, I, I, I can't eat that stuff anymore, you know, and, you know, for the past few weeks, I've been eating more bananas uh, than previously in my lifetime, and, you know, I've, I've just been focusing, you know, on, on more healthier stuff, you know, and, and since I've been going through bouts of de depression, I've been, I, you know, I can't believe I was doing this. I was listening to a lot of contemporary Christian music. You know, you know, sometimes, you know, there's a lot of times that, you know, I want to feel good about myself. You know, I'm not a, a super religious person. But, you know, I, I, I've grown to in, enjoy that kind of music. You know, it's it's really uplifting, you know, stuff, you know, and... And on the positive side, you know, you know it, it helps me relax, to relax. I don't really like classical music because, you know, it's just too relaxing for me. So, <laughs> well, anyways, currently I, I'm down to 235 pounds and I hope to drop another 10 pounds in a few weeks and I hope to hear some words of encouragement from you guys I, I'm sorry I haven't been too steadfast on this channel I'm, I think I'm up to 40 subscribers right now and and I like to proudly appear that I'm back on the wagon totally in peace now bro Totally in peace, brothers and sisters.